African Americans in Ohio were free under the Northwest Ordinance, but that didn't mean the issue was settled. Ohio had black laws. If you were African American, you could be a barber, a waiter, a cook, or a maid, and that was about it. Remember, Columbus was a crossroads between the North and the South. Freedom was a relative term. While you are free here, the parameters around you are very, very tight. The freedom oftentimes was in danger because, yes, while there were a number of runaways coming through Columbus, and sometimes they were caught and taken back, sometimes free people were taken. They were be mistaken as a runaway. Columbus can be proud of its contribution to the Underground Railroad, but it's important to remember that the majority of conductors here were not white. The conductors on the Underground Railroad in downtown Columbus were primarily African Americans. These black men and their wives were the principal conductors and station masters in downtown Columbus. The true picture of the Underground Railroad is that it was very, very dangerous and very illegal. This was business done by people who took great risks not only the risk of the runaway slave who knew if he or she got caught, the penalties would be extremely severe, but also for that underground railroad conductor, that agent, that station master. This is very, very, very dangerous times, and um, no one took it lightly. <laughs> 